All right, it's August. It's Sunday. It's uh, it's in the middle of August, and I finally got my greenhouse all done. I had to rip out everything, and uh, I put down plastic, black plastic. You can kind of see that over here. Yeah, and uh, then I put in a lot more pea gravel. So at any rate, I decided not to put my tables up. I just laid them flat down. And I put all my trees on these tables, and uh, and that, that's the way i am uh, got this all positioned. It's a lot neater this way, and now I have uh, things more organized. Uh, these are the moringa trees growing, and uh, and I'm going to uh, grow nothing but uh, also tomatoes. These are two gallon containers and I've uh, I have uh, planted tomato seeds in them. I figure I need a cash crop and so um, I'm going to sell these containers. They're two gallon grow bags and I'll sell them to the public uh, probably for around ten dollars. And I have a couple different species of tomatoes growing in them. Beef steaks primarily. These are more moringas. Uh, this this uh, this tree right here has got loads of fruit on it. Uh, just love it. And uh, uh, I've got uh, gooseberries growing in here as well. I've started these out by seed. These were the slowest growing plant I think I've ever grown. Uh, these uh, really took a long time, and uh, they uh, they're growing berries right now, and so I'm very pleased how they've come out. They're very uh, delicate when they're new from seed, and I destroyed a lot of them by watering too too heavily. But uh, these are the ones that made it, and these are the strongest of the plants that I was growing. And I'm anxious uh, to plant them somewhere. Uh, they grow into big bushes. And you get loads of berries from these. And they're supposed to be quite delicious. Alright, I'm in my other greenhouse. And uh, I'm uh, focusing on tomato plants in this one. And that's what's primarily being uh, raised in here. I have uh, some growing in other can uh, grow bags I have clones cuttings cuttings that were taken from my best producers and uh, and then I put uh, three different species of tomatoes in these grow bags and there are beefsteaks uh, uh, there are black crims and another kind of uh, mule team they're called uh, I also am growing a tomato that grows four to six pounds each. And over here, I have I have those growing. They're called Big Zacks. And uh, so, at any rate, uh, and the, these are just starting to sprout, and I'm getting lots of them uh, to grow. Uh, the mule teams are supposed to be very good size. Beef steaks are very large as well. And uh, black crims are supposed to be very delicious. I am growing super fantastics. And, and then I, from seed, from seed I put these in plastic containers. And these are for sale uh, to the general public as well. I'm trying out these small little uh, containers. I just planted these today, and we'll see how these do. If they grow nice and big, I will sell these for like $2.50 each. Just to give you an idea of how these tomatoes are doing, uh, they're doing quite well.
There are tomatoes hidden all throughout this plant. I got loads of them growing. And there's a huge one growing down here. Okay, I'm out by my raised beds right now. And uh, these are tomatoes that I planted in one raised bed and uh, just sprouted last week. And so, uh, uh, but I decided to do something radical. And I figure that tomatoes will be a good cash crop for the fall. And so I am going to plant a whole bunch of them. I'll show you what I did. All right, so in a previous video, I showed you that I made this with my tractor. I put down a whole bunch of mulch first, and then I planted a whole bunch of tomatoes. 16,000 beefsteak tomatoes are planted on this bed. And they are uh, starting to sprout big time, and I expect uh, they will be fully ready and within um, 75 more days or 70 days or so. So at any rate, I've got a, <laughs> I got 16,000 plants uh, growing out here, but uh, uh, I'll probably end up with about, I don't know, maybe 5,000 plants or something. We'll see how it works out. Uh, but uh, just to show you, uh, this is uh, uh, quite an experiment, and I hope it pays off. Well, this is Mike from MMT Farm, and I will talk to you later. Bye.